In today's episode, we visit a spectacular Paul Duck filming location in Cornwall. We return to the place where we enjoyed our first holiday ever in the UK, and we visit some beautiful coves and fishing villages. We came to a very spectacular spot. Yes. It's called Botanic Mine, and this is where they filmed Paul Duck. Yeah. We're part of it. Yeah, they used the old buildings as the mine. Yeah, and they produced, well, back in the day, they produced tin, copper, and it says refined arsenic here. Yeah. And the mine closed in 1895, and, but they guess they started mining here in the late 1500s. Yeah, and I, I'm speechless because this scenery is... Yeah. is Honestly, spectacular. Yeah, the coastline is just... It's wow! Very, it's very dramatic. It is. It's absolutely stunning. And we think... Hang on. So we think that the mine over there, on the left-hand side, was used in Paul Dark. And just look at this. This is absolutely breathtaking. Yeah. And I believe they used that kind of scenery where he was riding on his horse. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, True. Well, you had these dramatic pictures of a landscape. And there are more mines down there. Wow. That's the setting. It is. go and have a look at the Paul Dark Mine first and yeah I'd like to know did you watch the series did you like it we really did especially because of beautiful Cornwall although like in reality they filmed a lot in the Cotswolds as well and I think especially my dad was a little bit obsessed with the series he Wait, I, th I think he watched it twice now, and I can't blame him. It's beautiful. I just saw a fox, but it disappeared, unfortunately. It looked beautiful. <laughs> I think I can hear it. And this coastline is also called Tin Coast. And you can hike for hours and hours. This should be the pulled up mine and Jörg is exploring. Jörg, I found something. So, there was a disaster here in 1893 and this mine is called Wheel Owls Mine. Mm. And that should be the mine used in Paul Dog as wheel grace and wheel leisure. Yeah. They used it for both mines. They dressed it as both mines. Yeah, and that's it. Beautiful, isn't it? And it's now 6.30 and Jörg and I said, let's go later in the evening because then the light is beautiful and it's quiet. Well, we figure it's probably quiet most of the time and there's no entrance fee. We park the car and this belongs to the National Trust and it says it's open from dusk till dawn. So wonderful to explore now. Seeing this takes me back to 26 years ago when we came here. Well, not to this spot, but no. when we stayed on the Lizard and how we fell in love with Cornwall. 
there's this English author, the Germans pronounce her, Rosa Munderpircher, and she is so popular. So they started filming here for German TV 27, 28 years ago, don't quote me on it. And the funny thing is, when we stayed on the lizard, we went down to the water and enjoy the scenery and they filmed a Rosamunda Pilcher film there. And to this day, they are so popular in Germany, not because they are particularly challenging, it's just because people love Cornwall and the scenery. we brought the drone to this place but it's not allowed to fly here no we can't use it unfortunately and we won't do it because no. yeah we still we hope you get an idea about this gorgeous place yeah it's mm, wonderful yeah it is magical <laughs> and it's yeah breathtaking it, i could the scenery is breathtaking i could stay here for hours and yeah. hours yeah. it's just it's calming it's just beautiful and yeah. yeah, we hope you liked it. And now let's go back to the cottage. Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, me Did too. you see bride and groom? Yeah. Wedding photography here. Hmm. In this scenery. This is probably the photographer. Cornwall elopements. I love this. It says enchanted bride's photography. I bet these photos are amazing. Now we have to open the gate to get to our cottage. Imagine this would be our front door every day. We didn't expect to be out and about that long. It's now 9.30. We didn't have a lot to eat. Just a tiny breakfast and then the pasty. And yeah, we actually wanted to cook, but we won't be cooking now. We will have a slice of bread and we're absolutely knackered. We will take a shower and then go to bed, but it's been a lovely day. We walked 16k, so we got a lot of exercise today. And yeah, looking forward to a good night's rest and then we'll see you again tomorrow. Good morning from Million Cove. Good morning. I'm overwhelmed right now. Yes. I am because, well, we're here on the Lizard, which is the most southerly point in the UK. But it was our very first time. Yeah. Our very first visit to the yes. UK. So it's back, yeah, now going back down on Memory Lane. Yeah, and this feels. No, I don't, I don't have words. No, it was wonderful. Because now I can see, I mean, the place we chose is so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. And we will show you where we stayed while we check it out. We don't know if it's still there, yeah. how it changed, and yeah, it's so 
such a beautiful yes. spot. Yes, muggy and COVID. Yeah. And, and you said like, <laughs> it hasn't it hasn't changed. Not much. It's like time stood still. And yeah, we can really recommend this place. It's yeah. so stunning. Yeah, check it out. And it's to me it's a hidden gem. It is. Yeah. Really, really gorgeous. So we stayed in a like in an apartment somewhere over there and we can still see the Million Cove Hotel, so that's still there. Yeah. And we had an incredible view from up there. And you know what else, Jörg? I can... I remember that we sat on this bench like every night yeah. and just enjoyed this gorgeous view. And now we will check out if we find the house. If it's still there, what it looks like now will be interesting. This is our bench. Yeah. It's like very emotional because it, it hasn't really changed. No. It's the hotel again. And back then it looked like as if it was about to close. It looked pretty run down, but now it seems to be very, very busy. Lots of cars, which is good. We think it's the house on the right hand side, but it looks totally different. I think they changed it. They renovated the house, built an extension. What do you think, Jörg? Yes, maybe. So, we're not really sure, but we, th we think so, and we can't go there because it's just private, you know. But we will check out another street, just, just to be sure, because we don't want to leave, and then feel sorry that we haven't checked it. I would love to see it. This is the house we just filmed, and it seems to be the one. Yeah. It just looks... It's, it's, it's a spot because the house isn't the same. Yeah. It might be, the one on the left might be the same, but the extension is completely different. Yeah. So, yeah, this makes you realize that things change or a lot of time has gone by. Yeah. Yeah. But I found the spot where they filmed for Rosamunde Pircher. I think down there, yeah. they had a picnic down there. Yeah, on there. Yeah. Do you know what I like? This I place think, isn't crowded. Yeah. For example, I think we visited a lot of places here in Cornwall, also North Cornwall. Yeah. And we've been to Port Isaac twice which is stunning. So uh, we're, it's we're, <laughs> always crowded. Yeah, it's very busy. It's a lovely place. They filmed Doc Martin there. But coming back to Mullion Cove, this is, I, yeah. I think this is a bit of a hidden gem. Yeah. So, yeah, we would really recommend this place for, for a holiday. And we would love to come back. Yeah. Not a lot of people. No. Quiet. And it's now. Yeah. It's like almost 1 p.m. and it's Sunday and it's it's so quiet. Yeah. And we came here in September, which is a beautiful month yeah. for a holiday. But it wasn't so hot. No. And remember what we did on our wedding anniversary. I'm not so sure, but I think we did a long, long walk. Yeah. Along the coastline. Unforgettable. I think it was our first... Yeah, it's the day after we arrived. Exactly, yeah. Now I went up the other side to see if the grey house we saw is the house where we stayed. Yes, and it is. Because I remember it was the last house in the row, which is this one. But they've enlarged it because you can see on the... And there's a new part. And that's where probably they had the swimming pool, because it had a swimming pool.
this is Church Cove here on the Lizard and as you can see it's it's very quiet you can really find quiet spots here in Cornwall even in July and these are the places you have to visit Jörg said, why not walk to the Lizard from Church Cove? Yeah. It's not too bad, like one and a half miles. Yes, because we would have to go back to the Lizard, to the town of Lizard anyway. Yeah. So it's probably not much more to walk. And we have this view. Yeah. We just walk here along. We're enjoying the coast, the coastline. Yeah, we walk along the coast and it's it's just beautiful. There's a bit of a fresh breeze. It's, it's very yeah. muggy but the breeze does help a little no, bit. It's fine. It's wonderful. I like it. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah, and we can't fly the drone because it's not allowed on the lizard. No. Yeah, there's a heliport at Penzance and we're not allowed to fly a drone in a certain area where you've got an airport. Yeah, we would no. have loved to show you yeah. the lizard from, from above. Same yesterday, yeah. but we can't do it and we, well, it yeah, is we respect is. that. Yeah. And we want to share this place with you, Lloyd Signal Station, because you can stay there. You can book it via Unique Homestays, and I just know it because it's part of my job to do yeah. a lot of research when it comes to travel. And the story behind the station is... So it, it belongs to the Lloyds, be or used yeah, to belong. The, the signal station belonged to the Lloyds insurance. insurance company, Yeah, and they used it to spot ships and so they could signal to London yeah, the ships with a cargo because it was important for them because of insurance. Yeah. yeah. So they knew, okay, a ship which they may have thought was lost. Now, no, it wasn't lost. It was just arriving tomorrow or was a day late. I see. That yeah. makes sense. Yes, it totally makes sense. And this place, it's it's for six people. I don't know. Did I mention yeah. it? I, I don't know. Yeah. We will We will leave the link for you down below. It is incredible and it has a roof terrace oh. <laughs> a wonderful roof terrace it would be amazing to stay here yeah and it's a, a little bit pricey but then again for six people it's actually reasonable and then this location yeah. you have to bear it in mind And we made it to Lizard Point, the most southerly point in England. Cheers. Cheerio, oh, Miss Sophie. Yeah. We decided to have something to eat. Yeah. Because after a long walk, yeah, we're getting hungry. Right? Yeah. So oh, yes. the funny thing is, Jörg actually, he bought drinks here yeah. at Britain's most southerly cafe yeah. and then we said, you know what, we should eat something, yeah. So we ordered some baked potatoes. What have you got, Jörg? Baked potatoes with baked beans. Yeah. Mine is baked potato with tuna and mayo, and it's bigger than I thought. Mm. It's huge. <laughs> it 
So we want to visit one or two more goes because they're usually such lovely houses for us to film. And the one we want to visit now, I have to check their pronunciation, Jörg, yeah. because we want to get it right. I don't know how it's No, oh. we know the spelling, but the pronunciation is a bit difficult in the UK. It's always, it's not as it seems. No. And the weather, the weather forecast said lots of showers. But we have the most glorious sunshine. We're really, really lucky. We are. It couldn't be more perfect. And we were a bit anxious because lots of people said Cornwall would be very busy because obviously people can't really, really travel abroad. So they go to the most beautiful places here in the UK. But it seems fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. It just depends on where you go. And this area seems to be absolutely okay. So that's very nice. Chatsworth Go? The pronunciation? I don't know. I couldn't check here. There's no phone signal. I think Chatsworth. Let's have a look. This is a church. Very small. Look at the houses. We hope you enjoyed the fishing villages and the views. I think they're just beautiful. Yeah, there would be so many more, but I think we, we leave it for more. today. No, we yeah. can't. And for us, it was a walk down memory lane. It today. was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe it. I can't believe the weather. And yeah, we've walked a lot. Since. So we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again very soon. Yeah, take care. Take care. So until next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.